<laughs> this group is the Bartell Grassland Volunteers, and it's a volunteer group that's going to restore the grassland here. We're filling it with these sedges, which are native grass-like plants that are in wetlands. So what we're making here is called a sedge meadow. That's the ecological type. And um, it will be much better habitat. So the birds will like it better. The frogs that are out there are going to like it better. And this is one of the best places in the state for bobolinks. Overall, they have declined 97% in the last 40 years. They used to be the ninth most common bird in the state. Now you can't even find them hardly. But the good news is that when you come to a place like this, we are improving habitat, we're increasing their populations, and it's real important conservation work that's going on right in the Chicago metropolitan area. Well, different birds favor different kinds of habitats. So the dry prairie, off in that direction, will support the bobolinks meadowlarks. However, a wet spot like this will bring in sedge wrens that are very particular about having some of that moisture and these specific species of plants. The other thing that we'll stop by will be shorebirds during migration and they'll pick through here for insects in the soil. There could be 12, 15 species that would regularly use this spot during migration. So as our habitat becomes more and more fragmented, establishing places like this with increased richness may help those birds hop along as they try to get to their destination, usually the nest north of here. Well, I think people hear about the environment more and they uh, are concerned and wonder what they can do. And there is something about seeing the results, about getting your hands dirty, that maybe makes it feel like it's not all hopeless, that uh, yeah, I can do some little part. That something would change, and this place will definitely change. It's already changed. And now I feel like, you know, I'm giving back. I'm, I'm doing things that are positive and constructive. The bird populations that we've seen come back to this area and the Orland grassland, you know, it's, it's proof positive that what we're doing makes a difference. And there's not a lot of places you can go where you can make a real difference. You can't have good nature without citizens caring. The ecosystems are so disrupted that if people don't care about them, they just degrade and deteriorate and become of no use. So they depend on citizens caring. It is kind of like sweat equity. If I go home and my back is tired or I'm physically tired, I'm going, yeah, but I did that, you know, that was my grassland I did that for. This is basically all about birds. That's why Audubon has been so supportive of this. Most people haven't seen a bobolink. I mean, they're, they're very different. They're yellow, black, and white. And when you see it, you go, wow, what kind of bird is that? Wait a minute, there's a couple of thousand of them. And they're here because we got some of this grassland restored. So they like this area. We had some kids out this, this past fall from a local school district, and this little nine-year-old walks up beside me and says, man, do I wish I lived here. And I looked at him and said, yeah, me too. But he's hooked. If they come once, they're hooked. The bird populations have really increased things like meadowlarks, bobolinks, that are the fastest declining birds in the country. We've made a lot of good habitat for them here, and they're really using the spot. You can hear the meadowlarks singing in the background right now. If you can hear past the chorus frogs, you know, everybody's happy we're here. <laughs>